Eight years ago, Kaduna State was identified among the 10 high-risk northern states of Nigeria for the wild polio virus, ranked third in the country and accounting for 14 percent of the total burden in the country. That year was 2012, and it was also the last time Kaduna State recorded any case of the wild polio virus. <laughs> Nevertheless, the state government believes it must continue to educate the people to prevent a resurgence. A good place to drive this advocacy is at the Maternal, Newborn and Child Health Week. We have uh, immunization for, for polio, which we have several rounds usually in a year. And for that, we usually have children uh, up to 2 million plus that we provide uh, them with polio vaccines. We have also had the measles campaign where we had almost the same uh, number of children that we immunized across the, the, the state. But for different interventions, we have different targets and we usually measure these targets on a monthly basis so on the whole um, we have about two million children that we usually immunize in Kaduna for m most of the interventions so in Kaduna state we're implementing in about 963 primary health care facilities and there are some private facilities that have indicated they will also want to join as part of their corporate social responsibilities. The Health Week was also an opportunity to spread the word about the other free healthcare services for pregnant women, children zero to five years and other packages. We urge our mothers and our children please avail themselves of these services to get checked, to get the services which are free to ensure that women and children are healthier and they are, um, grow up healthier and, we, and avail themselves of the services.